Okay, everybody, here we go. It is me, Gregory Manorino. It is Sunday, March 19th, 2023. Buckle up. What a week we are going to have. So much going on here. The biggest thing that you and I have to look forward to this week before we vomit uh, is, of course, the Federal Reserve's monetary policy meeting. And we're going to get their announcement on, on Wednesday. <laughs> We'll talk more about that in a minute. Right now, the biggest story is, uh, well, obviously, this banking crisis that we are in. Uh, and, you know, I'm sitting here this morning again watching the financial channels, and they're playing this off yet again. I'm talking about this uh, rescue. It's a rescue. We're rescuing First Republic. Oh, yes, they're getting $30 billion from 11 Wall Street banks, oh, they're just so fantastic. They're, they're saving the system. <laughs> All this is, uh, this $30 billion, as you have become well aware, uh, these are covering withdrawals. There is a run on this bank. And it's, it's, it's a revolving circle. I mean, these 11 Wall Street banks that are coming to the rescue, they're not rescuing a damn thing. Um, again, they're covering withdrawals. And then those... Withdrawals are being put into the mega banks, uh, just as this whole freak show is meant to do. I mean, Janet Yellen herself admitted that's what's going on here, uh, and it's by design. It's it's absolutely by design. It's a consolidation of the entire banking system, and we're about to see some other really interesting things go on. So this issue with Credit Suisse, this this is a mega bank here. It appears that they're going to require. Tens, maybe hundreds of billions to bail them out. And it looks like it's going to happen here. Um, there's a lot of talk, a lot of speculation that the Swiss government might jump in and bail them out. Or a combination of things may go on to bail out this mega bank. Um, and look, if any of you out here believe that this is... This is just an issue with these regional banks and now Credit Suisse, and you're just completely off base here. This is an issue here with, with all these banks. As a matter of fact, what also came to light with regard to Credit Suisse, I had to write this down here. So um, here we go. Uh, la, 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 la. There is a, what was found is material weakness. This is not Greg Manorino's word. This is what's being reported here. Material weakness in the financial reports of Credit Suisse. So let, 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 let's let's put this together here. So obviously, you know, the the banking regulators missed that too. Uh, how did that happen? Hmm. How about they didn't miss a damn thing? This is all uh, a play on the system to consolidate it. Uh, and there's just no doubt in my mind that I'm certain that your your mind as well that this whole thing is uh, you know it's obviously being played as oh oh you know we're going to rescue the system and no one saw this coming but of course everyone saw this coming and you and I knew this was going to happen uh, it's just insane really but it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out with regard to what appears to be. A bailout of one type or the other for Credit Suisse and uh, a consolidation of these these banks. Um, well, I, I would be willing to go out on a limb here and say that the market may view this as something positive. Okay, uh, an enormous amount of effort is going into propping up the debt market as of late. We've watched. Global bond yields drop. That means debt is being bought up. The MMRI is like two, 221 still remains in a high risk zone, but it, but it doesn't matter. Again, if they can stabilize or no, let me, let me rephrase. If they can somehow foster the illusion that the debt market is stable, which it is clearly unstable here and it's insolvent, uh, well then, of course, uh, the market won't care and the market will respond in a positive way. But it's going to be very interesting, especially with the Fed meeting this week. Let's talk about that real quick. So, you know, the meeting starts Tuesday. The meeting of the minds. They're, they have no idea what they're about to do. None at all. So they got to get together 
Tuesday, and then Wednesday, they're going to make their announcement. Look, uh, there's a lot of speculation here as to what the Fed's going to do this week after the European Central Bank just raised rates 50 basis points. Uh, you know, he, he, here's the talk of the tape, whether it's going to be a, a 25 or a 50 basis point hike. I'm going to say it's going to be 25. All right. Now, if you look at my record going back 10 years, 10 freaking years with regard to the Fed, I've been wrong three times, three in 10 years with regard to what the Fed would do. I'm going to say it's going to be 25. There is an outlying chance this could be 50, but uh, I'm still leaning towards 25. Now, here's, here's what we need to put together. And again, I would love to hear from you on this, of course. So we have what appears to be some kind of bailout for the system here. Uh, just a moving around of funds with regard to this First Republic issue, uh, which is continually, as of this morning, still being sold as a rescue. The 11 Wall Street banks, they, they, they're just they're so good. They really have the public interest. They have the public interest in mind so much that they were so generous to supply First Republic with $30 billion to cover withdrawals. But you're not supposed to know that because there's a run on that bank. There's a run on the, the smaller banks right now going on, but you're not supposed to know that either here. And of course, Credit Suisse. Uh, did you see the line? This There is a photograph. I believe it was posted on Market Watch. It might still be there or maybe they pulled it. The line of people out the door and around the block to withdraw cash from Credit Suisse. So there's a run on the bank. Um, but again, they're trying to uh, play this out as well as some kind of a rescue. But it's a bailout. I mean, you know, like a, having the government take over the bank or however it's going to work. Bailout, however you want to look at it. But they can't call it a bailout. Anyway, so knowing, understanding, let's put this together. Understanding there's some kind of a, again, moving around of cash and bailouts and multiple bailouts in play right now. The, the question is, you know, is the Fed going to raise 50 while this bailout is going on here? I still say 25, and I really could have this one wrong. I'm, I'm being honest here. Uh, because of the bailout here of, of the banking system, what appears as a bailout here, the Fed could go 50. 25 is what the market is pricing in, in my view. Um, the one way, or the two ways, however you want to look at it, that the Fed could go 50 would play out like this. Banks are getting bailed out, Fed goes 50, and then says they're going to pause moving forward uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to stick to my guns in here and say 25. All right, let's just say 25 just for just for fun so we can have a little fun with this. Um, but um, we'll see how this plays out Wednesday. The market will probably... Let's think about this too. If we get this... this If this whole thing starts to play out as we are seeing, bailout, bailout, ten, tens of billions, probably hundreds of billions, maybe in the, in the trillions of dollars here, uh, you know, the Fed is pumping, what, 2.3 trillion into the banking system, plus whatever else is going to come down the pike here. Oh, don't, don't, don't lose sight of the fact that this is massively inflationary, all this cash that's going to be pumped into the system, but you can't know that, no, no, no one's going to talk about that, of course, so, but, but it's a fact, and, um, you know, again, with regard to the Fed fighting inflation, they never they never uh, raised the glove to fight inflation, although that's how it was sold to the people of the world. Oh, the you know, central banks, they're raising rates. They're raising rates because they're in a fight of their lives. They're, they're really going to, they're trying to fight inflation. <laughs> All they're doing is trying to kill the man, crush the consumer. Inflation continues to rise. Report after report after report proves to us what we already freaking knew, and that is that inflation is going to continue to rise, and it's got nowhere to go but higher, because it's the mechanism here. Let's think about it. Let's put this together, you and me. It's just funny. Okay. Situation here where inflation continues to rise, consumer is getting destroyed with more destruction coming down the pike here. Um, more cash being pumped into the system like trillions of dollars with this banking bailout here. A world economy in free fall couldn't be worse. It really can't be possibly be worse. But meanwhile, the stock market again appears to be defying gravity, 
It has no business being here. None at all. You all know that. It's it's unbelievable to watch this unfold. But it but it's no surprise to you again. What have I showed you? This stock market, economy, stock market, economy. Oh, lovely, fantastic. But we're also witnessing another uh, phenomenon again that you and I have foretold right here on this blog from I don't know how many years ago, maybe ten, where we started explaining. Uh, we started covering how. When this meltdown started going here, as we reached the moment of maximum saturation, we would see inflation continue to skyrocket here and cash would move uh, into commodities. And that's exactly what's going on for the most part. But we haven't seen anything yet. Again, the meltdown in the debt market, which is going to occur at, at a time of their choosing, is just going to cause a wave of cash to move, wave of cash to move into other assets. Um, doesn't fly away to money, having cash in, in any kind of a meltdown situation here. But that's being set up. That's going to be part of the next equation. So we got, let's see, surging inflation on the back of a free fall economy, on the back of another banking crisis. Oh, I'm so surprised about that. No one saw that one coming. The regulators obviously didn't see it coming. Uh, the Federal Reserve didn't see it coming. The U.S. Treasury, they didn't see it coming either. Of course they did. And I can prove that to you because this is why Janet Yellen, again, had to admit that um, the way this mechanism is set up is people will pull their cash out of smaller institutions and foster what is uh, a clearly uh, a move of, of, of waves of, of, of capital moving into the large banks. So a consolidation here. And we foretold that too right here on this blog. May, imagine my shock here. Anyway, so I can tell you this. Um, it's going to be interesting later when when stock futures trading does, does start here. Uh, how the market is going to respond to what clearly is a bailout, a mega bailout of the entire system yet again here. And then I think what's going to be even more interesting to see how it plays out, because I fully believe, and I think most of you are on the same page with me, that the consolidation of assets um, from the smaller banks into the larger banks, I mean, the larger banks are going to, are going to pick and choose what they want. They're going, to, they're going to buy for pennies on the dollar all the good assets of these smaller institutions here. The question is, okay, where's the where are the bad assets going to go? And I I think we already understand where that's going to. So just like last time here, um, it's going to be put on the backs of the people, uh, and it's and the, this is going to be sold to us as this is for the good of the people. And you know, look here's here's the situation. Most people don't give a damn how it works out as long as their cash is protected. Um, again, dependency on the system, as we all know, that is going on right now and it's going to it's going to progress to a much larger degree they need people dependent more people dependent on the system and uh but I, that's something you already know so we have a couple of lovely things to look forward to this week here um how is the market going to respond to the banking bailout which seems to be moving right ahead as expected okay two how the market's going to respond to what the Federal Reserve does. Uh, 25 basis points, I think, is the most likely scenario. 50 is a possibility here because of the banking bailout. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? In a way, maybe it'll be 50. I don't know. I'm still going to say 25. All right, whatever. So I'll be wrong four times in 10 years if that's the case. Sir. I can live with that, I think, honestly. Um so with that said, I mean, you know, it may be time for us to start looking for bargains here. Uh, we'll, we're going to find out what happens to this market. I mean, kind of on Monday, tomorrow morning, we'll start to see how this is playing out. If, in fact, the bailout backfires and the market says, hold on a minute, there's a real problem. This is systemic meltdown, which is clearly going on. No matter, no matter what happens, understand, even if there's another bailout here, which it looks like is happening here of the banking system, uh, it, you know, it, it's it's a... It doesn't change the fact that the entire system uh, is crumbling right before our eyeballs. And this is, you know, deliberate. This is the Federal Reserve, other central banks crushing the current system only to issue in a new one as they rearrange the deck chairs right now, consolidating power in the mega banks that are going to play ball. They got to get rid of 
the smaller institutions here that might not want to play ball with the new completely digital system that's coming. I mean, consider the fact right now that it's almost a completely digital system. It's a 90% digital system right now, but that last 10%, you know, making this a completely, absolutely cashless system, which is going to happen. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. Um, and again, the, the people that are dependent on the system, they're just going to swallow it and will probably enjoy it. They don't care. People are willing to do anything to be taken care of uh, from cradle to grave. And that's really the system here we have on a worldwide scale here. You know, everyone gets a trophy. Uh, everyone gets money from the government, uh, the government, which is central banks. That's how, that's where this is going here, obviously. Um you know, there's still some of us, you and me, we're like dinosaurs here who still believe in a, a free society and a free system. Uh, maybe we're fools to believe in that because that's not where we're going. It's being stripped out right from under us all, I think we can agree. Um, there's not enough of us to bring about any kind of a revolution or a rebellion, which is what we really do need. There's not enough. They got us so by the throat here. Uh, and only because they're they're just decades and decades ahead of us. They really are. You know, you and I more or less, more or less, are living uh, unfortunately in in the side effect or the, in the moment of what the Fed has created uh, and central banks collectively have done. It's it's really so twisted. But we're doing the best we can. You know, what are we going to do? We're going to continue to do what we've been doing: bet against the debt, become our own central bank, hold hard hard assets here for the real meltdown. Uh, commodity exposures, I think, is something you need as well. You all know that here. Uh, that's all I've been talking about as of late. And, and we'll see what we're going to do with this market. Um, honestly, this bailout, this world global bailout of the system, the market might just get off on it. And I mean get off. <laughs> Spread shorts all over the place. But we'll see. We'll see this week. This week's a big one. It's a big week. And I'm looking forward to it. And we're going to just break it all down right here. And it's going to be all kinds of fun. All right, people, look, enjoy the rest of your weekend here. Um, I will see all of you in the morning. And it's going to be just freaking beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you.